Airport executive management had a vision known as Orlando Experience. Uh, Burns team went straight into design to bring the multimedia as a visual expression of the next generation for the Orlando Experience. It's a major expansion for the Orlando Airport. It's a new Greenfield uh, terminal just south of Terminals A and B. And at its conclusion, it will essentially double the gate capacity for the airport. Yeah, this is a massive project. You know, aside from just the airside concourse and the landside terminal, there's also a ground transportation facility. Ahead of that, you've got the support buildings, we call them the out buildings, so the central energy plant. Burns Engineering did the design for our, all the low voltage systems. That is integrated when you have an architect engineer design the core of the shell, the mechanical, electrical, plumbing, all those basic components for a building. Systems integrate into that, so it's one the seamless project. We also have an on-site engineering team uh, helping manage construction with the contractors. It's truly a team effort to get this built. So the real benefit to us being here full time is one, we know the design intent, we know the owner's intent, and if there's ever a question in the field, you know, we're here on call. The, the most obvious uh, feature is the experiential media environment. It's, uh, it's going to catch the passenger's eye right away. There's three really large architecture integrated multimedia features for the South Terminal. Uh, there's Windows on Orlando, which is a story about the region's transformation. Custom content to highlight uh, not only the Orlando area, but the entire state of Florida, and they are very engaging. Oh, they're over 30 feet high and about 100 feet long, so it's really going to be immersive. Another feature is the Moment Fault. Just massive structures with LED components. Three large screens, which are double-sided, and they're going to be really inviting. They're going to be exciting for the passengers to come and interact inside the Moment Fault and sort of experience uh, Orlando and search for Florida for themselves. And then there's the portal, which is 32 screens that spiral up through the ticketing area, about 80 feet, so it's going to be really impressive. Airport technology systems are built with a passenger-first approach. From the moment you enter the ticket counter, it's as if you're handed a fast pass to an expedited journey through the terminal. Uh, and it's totally non-commercial, so for the passengers, it'll be really exciting to see these features and they'll have a calming effect. We've tried to think about that experience from gate to curbside and implement the technology as much as possible to give a, give a sense of ease. The TSA has installed a new feature, which is automated screening lanes. And those are lanes that have been deployed only at the largest airports in the United States and make for a more efficient journey through the process. I think for the passengers, it's going to be really exciting. Orlando is one of the busiest airports in the United States. Passengers can be stressed as usual traveling. So I think for a passenger, they're going to really enjoy being at the airport. It's going to be an iconic destination, the South Terminal. So I think for them, uh, passengers are really going to enjoy going through the space. They're going to enjoy seeing the features. Um, it's going to be a destination unto itself. What you're seeing today is just um, phase one of a four-phase program, which will have the eventual build-up. A lot of times when you're just thinking, we've got to build the core and shell of the building, you tend to focus on time, budget, things like that. But what we didn't want to happen was such a massive endeavor with technology here is to lose sight of really what the standards were for the IT department here at the airport. One of the things that astounded me was the ability to all the different players to work together as a team to push this over the finish line. It has been an exciting opportunity to see that collaboration and the spirit associated with that, helping it become this vision into reality. Establishing those relationships early on really helped us facilitate uh, a network for coordination to be successful throughout the rest of the project. It all started with the leadership from uh, Greater Orlando Aviation Authority. Their vision from the start was to have technology integrated into the program. And without their leadership, this program would not be as advanced technology-wise as it is today. I think if other airports want to try to bring multimedia into the airport, uh, I think one thing would be to have a really strong vision, sort of be bold. I think uh, the Orlando Airport was bold. They had a really strong vision for what they wanted to do. And I think that really shows Burns Engineering is truly proud to be part of this amazing project, amazing team members that we work with, um, the Aviation Authority and, uh, and all consultants. And we very much look forward to the next phase with the Fort Gate expansion. I think if I look back at this project in five years, I'll be as impressed as I am now, sitting in a building that you know has taken years to work on, countless people, uh, team members, different firms. It's just been really a family of uh, people from all different firms that came together and built this project. So I know I'm always going to look back at this and be pretty impressed with what, what happened here in Orlando.